it's me Jessica here and I am making a video today to talk about an article I recently saw so about um, four or five days ago I saw this article I think it was put out by CBS News or one of those uh, media outlets and it was basically Harvard saying um, the four things that are in a perfect resume so um, a lot of what they actually mentioned are things that I say all of the time to candidates. But um, one thing that stood out to me is that they mentioned actually including your contact information on your resume. And so, you know, that would be just your uh, email and phone number. Apparently, people are not doing this. Now, clearly, you want to be contacted. And if you're not getting a call back, you might want to check to make sure your contact information is listed or even um, the article didn't mention this, but making sure your contact information is um, in a place where it's easy to see. Like don't put your contact information at the bottom of your resume. I've only seen this once or twice, but I don't know, maybe people are doing that. Your contact information should definitely be at the header. Typically is right by your name. So resume, um, should typically be a one or two pager. Your name should be at the top and then right after that your contact information and then typically any qualifications for the job like um, if you need um, a specific education that should be next or any specific call outs that you want the recruiter to see. So <laughs> um, with that, I mean, that's definitely a great reminder for someone just to make sure that you have your contact information on your resume something else the article mentioned, I'll link it below, uh, are things that you shouldn't do. And these are things I have seen very often. So um, one is actually something I just recently posted about is uh, listing your references. Like, why are you sharing that um, you have these references already? Are these folks ready to be contacted? Like it just, it's a little strange. It's not needed. Um, also, references to be provided by request. We know that if we request references from you, you most likely will provide them. It's just taking up space essentially in my mind. And that's also something that the article referenced. The other thing is including your picture. Big no-no. Um, and that's specific to the US, especially when you think about um, any kind of modes of discrimination that could come to you. Um, I can't unsee your picture once I see it. So, um, you know, if you're a woman and the role is for an electrician, like there are some conscious unconscious biases that could play out in your head. And plus, again, it's, it's irrelevant from the job. I don't need to know what you look like. Obviously, I'll know what you look like during the interview <laughs> process at some point. And then the last thing that it mentioned that you should not provide are um, information about like your age and criteria around that. Now, I've seen this in folks that are um, more so in the military. They may put in specifics about um, like maybe their weight, classifications in that area. Something else that I've seen on military resumes are their actual salary information as well. So just some things that you may want to think about as you're writing your resume or if you've been applying to jobs and you're seeing that you're um, really not getting the response that you're looking for, just take a look at your resume. Um, make sure that you have your contact information on there. Again, that was a big surprise that I saw uh, in the article. <laughs> Clearly, if you're sitting out with your resume, you should have your contact information on your resume but hey you know sometimes you're busy you're trying to get your resume together really quickly and some things are forgotten so anyway those are some quick reminders i will link the um actual article below i think it was a really good um just layout of some key things to do as you're writing your resume um, and some key things not to do. So good do's and don'ts there. So anyway, I hope this short video is helpful for someone and good luck with your job search. Bye.